Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum Escape from the Pit, where we are going to enter these spider caves. For real this time. Um, we did accidentally enter this before, right? Did we? Maybe we didn't. No, I don't remember. No, no, it was something else. Uh, where did we... I could have sworn. I accidentally entered a place and then immediately left. Maybe that was this place. Anyway. Uh, each spell has three levels of power. Oh, okay. Thanks for explicitly telling me. The spell's effects increase as you learn more about it. To learn a spell at the third highest level of power, you need to find a hidden spellbook. Oh, or a trainer. Yeah, I mean, the same is true for the f for learning it in the first place or learning the second level, though. How is that different? I don't know. Uh, right, let's look around. Okay, no hidden passages outside. The walls of this valley are covered with thick, impassable sheets of spiderweb. However, instead of the eerie silence you might expect, you hear coming from somewhere a lot of high-pitched voices. They seem to be speaking in your tongue, though you aren't quite sure what they're saying. Hmm. So maybe this is a, like a village of... Friendly spiders? Here's hoping. This cave is filled, filled with webs stretched floor to ceiling and stalagmite to stalagmite. Stalagmite. stalagmite to stalagmite. Spiders run up and down them and back and forth across the floor and ceiling. These are large spiders, most of them three to four feet tall. Uh, that's. That's pretty tall. I'm trying to mentally convert that to meters. Um, However, something weird is going on. First, the spiders are all talking. Second, they are all talking in really high-pitched voices. Third, well, they seem to be somewhat eccentric. Fortunately, the spiders seem to be quite friendly, both to each other and to you. They don't seem to regard you as prey. Always a good sign. Yep. I prefer spiders that way, for sure. Actually... Okay, there's the first one I see. Hey, that's the spider named Spider. I was told to talk to you. Oh. You try to talk to the spider, but it's too shy. It lets out a loud, surprised squeaking noise and runs away. That's unfortunate, I didn't mean to click on you. Hey, spider. Nope. Hey, spider. Ah, you see a very large spider. It's busily working on a large web, but uh, one eye appears to be focused on you. You watch for a while as its nimble forelegs weave its strands of web into a strong and intricate wall. Then it steps back and looks over its handiwork. Nice, huh? Hi, I'm Spider. What are you working on? His voice turns sad. I'm making a new web. The old one got destroyed. It's making me really sad. I can't work on my mission. Uh... Was it... an important mission? You betcha! I was looking for a mate. Then I could have a few hundred baby spiders. That would be neat. It jumps up and down excitedly. How was the other web destroyed? Well, not really destroyed. I forgot where it was. Sort of, sort of the same thing. Yeah, I mean... kind of? Okay. These guys seem pretty carefree. Which is a good thing, I suppose. Good for them. A little hidden passage. Uh, grounded boots with energy resistance. Otherwise, kind of unremarkable, but I suppose they're better than normal boots. So, there you go. These are, yeah, just normal, not even heavy. Right, he has heavy boots. Okay. Fair enough. You find the withered body of a goblin. It's clearly been here long, a long, long time. The body doesn't show any signs of spider bites. It must have been hiding back here and died of causes unrelated to arachnids. Hmm, I mean, the spiders do have to eat something, though, right? I guess maybe they only eat non-sentient beings. That would be nice. Hi. Do you want to talk? Spider continues to put the final touches on his web. He carefully adjusts the one th uh, one thread or another. Craft spider ship. Cool. So that is literally the spider called spider? No. I mean, the joke is that every one of them is called spider. I'm sure. That means we still have to find the one we were actually told to talk to. You see a very large spider. It's looking at you very intently. Very, very intently. Hi, she said, says in a sultry voice. I'm Spider. Why are you looking at me? Hehe, <laughs> I'm looking for a mate. It's tough. 
All the cute male spiders are busy, so I'm being forced to expand my options. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, you mean me? Yeah, you know, you're kind of cute. She runs up and kisses you on the knee. <laughs> Aw. Are you busy? Would you like to come see my web? Uh, that's, uh, that's nice. But, but, but I'm busy adventuring right now. Oh, that's very sad. She seems despondent for a moment. Then, in a moment, she cheers up again. Oh, well. She wanders away. Uh... I like to imagine that all spiders, even those that can't talk, actually think this way, which makes me feel bad about all the spiders I've killed. But then again, not really. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything here, unless I'm missing anything. Well, there's a button that <laughs> just opens this passage. Pointlessly. Another button. Hello? You see a big spider. It's about three feet tall and eight feet wide from leg tip to leg tip. It's jumping up. Uh, it's jumping around happily. Why are you jumping around? I'm hunting for gnats. Other spiders like flies, which are yummy, but I think gnats are even yummier. It runs around in little blissful circles. Uh, you do you. Do you know anything about mission? Yeah, my mission. I'm looking for nets. They're yummy. It runs around in little blissful circles. Gotcha. Uh, that was that spider, right? Hello? You see a large spider, about four feet tall and quite fierce looking. It's madly waving around its front legs and making chanting noises. You aren't sure why. Um, um, zut, it says. Oh, hi, I'm spider. Are you okay? Why are you waving around your legs? I'm trying to learn magic spells. <laughs> Do you know any spells yet? Yeah, watch this. It waves its front legs around and shouts, Boom! Then it looks at you. That wasn't very impressive, I know, but someday I might cast spells as good as an Aranea. So the Aranea are spellcasting spiders? Yeah, scary, huh? You better be careful if you meet up with, uh, with a mess of them. They'll mess you up. Gotcha. Are you okay? Uh, do you know where I can learn some magic spells? Try the Aranea there. They know a lot of a lot more magic than I do. It waves around its forelegs some more. Nothing special happens. <laughs> Where are they? To the west. That's what you humans say, right? West? Well, west. Thanks. The passage here is blocked by an exceptionally thick wall of webs. Unlike the other webs you have seen, no bugs hang off this one. A spider walks up behind you and says, We trapped some bad, bad people back here. Back there. They were mean and attacked us, so we walled them up. Then it gives you a quick kiss and runs away. <laughs> and these guys are so wonderfully quirky. Hmm. It's currently blocked. Okay. Bad people, you say. I mean, I'm sure you imprisoned them for a reason. I'd still like to talk to them, perhaps. Nets are what? You see an old gigantic spider with its eyes closed. It seems to be... Wait a second. Spiders can't even close their eyes. Hmm. Maybe giant spiders are different. Uh, it seems to be talking to itself. It seems to be trying to be somber, but the shrill, high-pitched voice sort of spoils the effect. It says to you, Greetings to you! In the name of the mighty Spider Lord, I am Spider! May I ask what you were doing? May the Spider Lord bless you, young ones. I was reciting the Spider Lord's articles for living. You see, I teach the, li the little spiders of the great Spider Lord. Tell me about the Spider Lord. He's a huge spider, like a god, and he makes huge spider god webs, and he catches really big flies, and he does stuff and stuff. It's neat. Nearby spiders stop and listen to his to this fascinated. <laughs> I mean, understandably, I'm mesmerized. Your spider lord sounds really stupid. Aw, oh, come on. Your spider lord sounds very, uh, very interesting. Oh, he is, he is. Hmm, or she is. I can never remember. We've noticed that all spiders are named spider. Why is that? Because that is what the great spider lord says all spiders should be named. And what else would a spider be named? You're silly. I guess I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one was it? I mean, i going to say one thing. It does make it difficult to tell them apart. <laughs> That's for sure. I guess, in reality, they're supposed to be different sizes, at least, and maybe, you know, have other defining characteristics, but, well. You see a big spider, it's standing still and watching you carefully. Every once in a while, it, bear, it bears a pair of huge fangs and lets out a long hiss. Ass, it says. Sorry, I hope I didn't scare you. I'm Spider. <laughs> what are you doing? 
I'm a guard spider. Yes, sir. I'm guarding. I guard as well as any guard can ever guard. Guarding against what? Sometimes mean people come, or nasty Aranea. When they do, I do this. It runs up suddenly and uh, kicks you on the shin. <laughs> then it backs up. That sure shows him. You think that you have a small bruise now. Ouch. Uh, mean people? Some humans hate and fear spiders, and they attack us and stuff. You know, it makes us very sad. And then I eat them. Uh, uh, fair enough, I guess. Have any humans like that been here recently? No, not for a long time. Hmm, that reminds me. There's one spider who will give some human stuff some human stuff to anyone who helps him. When you see spider, ask him about his mission. Right, spider, aren't you all named spider? Well, sure, but I'm sure you'll figure out which spider I mean. I have to get back to guarding. Bye. Well, uh, you are... You see a smaller spider. It giggles when it sees you. It is walking around, looking closely at the webs. You ask its name. It says in a quiet, high-pitched voice, I'm spider. <laughs> Why are you looking at the webs? I'm an inspection spider. Neat, huh? My mission is to walk around and look at the webs to make sure they're safe and stuff. You know, webs are very useful. Useful for what? When you, like, want food, you can build a web, and you can build a web, and then bugs will fly into it, and you can eat them. Yum! It looks one of you over. You're cute. Cute? You're all tall and shiny, and you aren't covered with little brown hairs, and I like your neat. And I think you're neat. You're welcome. Spider walks off, continuing its inspections. Man, these guys are so friendly. Hello? You see a spider. It stares at you happily with its big beady eyes. Hi, it says. I'm spider. Yeah, I, I figured. You seem really happy about something. Yep, I'm looking for a cute girl spider. It says with its chirpy, cheery voice. Uh, there was a girl spider looking for a mate. Hmm. Uh, I was on a big mission, but I finished it. Okay, what mission did you just finish? I was looking for a fly. It thinks. But then I caught one, and I ate it. It was yummy. It thinks more. Some spiders like gnats more. They're silly spiders. Do you know where we could find some great treasure or magic spells or other valuable stuff? Well, I think I saw some rocks outside. They were all pretty and gray. Or do you humans not like those? I can't ever figure you guys out. Uh, that's fine. No offense. I still think you're really cute and stuff. And only two legs. That's really neat. It must be hard to keep from tipping over. <laughs> I guess, depending on how, how drunk you are, it could be. Hmm. Uh, who are you? Spider says, I hope you are having a good day in the name of the mighty Spider Lord. Okay, that's what I thought. That's the worshipping spider. Oh, this is also blocked off? Yeah, you can't really do anything about those. Unless they can be dispelled, like barriers? I mean, I don't know. Probably not. Wouldn't make any sense. And obviously everything makes sense around here. It's a tiny spider. That's the priest spider. That's the guard spider. Oh yeah, that's the happy spider. I mean, they're all happy spiders, but you know what I mean. Yeah, nothing. Hello, spider. You see a giant spider. Its multitude of eyeballs are about at waist level. It's wandering around and looking for and looking for something. The spider is a bit more poised and authoritative than the other spiders. When it sees you, it is very pleased. Hello to you, mighty traveler. I am a spider. What are you looking for? Maybe I can help. I'm looking for flies. I met this human once, and he told me there were things called cockroaches, which are really yummy. But I've never found any, so I eat flies. What did you learn about cockroaches? Well, hmm, they're slower than flies and meatier, and they walk instead of fly, and they shoot fireballs. So you have to be careful. Or is it the Aronia who shoot fireballs? It's so hard to keep everything straight. It shudders, and the long hairs on its abdomen stand up. They're mean. They're smart like us. But... Where we where we ni where we are nice and friendly, they are cruel and nasty. You should stay well away from them. Can you tell us anything about the Aranea? That they are scary and mean, very scary and mean. If they weren't, we'd go we'd go do the rescue ourselves. Uh, rescue? They all study magic from when they're barely out of their eggs, and they're good at it. So be careful. Oh, and you're cute. Right. Um, we go do the rescue ourselves. Um. Do you spiders need any help with anything? Oh, yeah! It suddenly turns around. Uh, no, it, it suddenly turns sad. It's four legs droop. One of our spiders was captured by the Aranea. They're smart, mean spiders. They live in another cave to the... It struggles to remember the word. Uh, West! I've been trying to get a nice, cute human to rescue him. We could give a reward. <laughs> so what's the reward, then? A bunch of flies? 
Nope, flies are too, ta too tasty to give to you. A bunch of mean people came here once. We wept them all in a cave. You can't get to it now. If you freed our friend, we take the barrier down and you could go in and take their silly things. Huh. Okay. Sounds like a deal. Uh, rescue a spider. Sure. If it's a nice spider, I'm happily going to rescue it. That was you, right? Yes. Hello? No one here? Oh, there you are. You tried to talk to this spider? Oh, okay. It's shy. Hello? Another shy one. That's the same one, yeah. Okay, and with that, it looks like I've been just about everywhere. This looks suspiciously empty. But I've also not seen any buttons. Which, of course, doesn't mean that there aren't any. No, no buttons. That's okay. Um, yeah, looks like I've been everywhere except for the walled-off sections. And we did get a... A quest. So, that's nice. Now let's kill some evil spiders. Hopefully get lots of Arania fangs in the process. Oh, uh, before I forget again... Age spells, Book of Curses, and actually... You're going to cast your Ward of Steel, even though it takes a lot of spell energy. That's fine, though. Now we save. I mean, these spiders might very well use acid against us, so definitely a good idea to be activating the, the ward. There are fine runes carved into the, ground, into the ground here. In the middle of the circle you see a low stone platform. It seems as if it's waiting for someone to step onto it. Hmm. Are you telling me this is a trap of some sort? I mean, I guess I'm gonna wait for them to come here. Uh, except it's just fully casting spells from the distance. Maybe we should just retreat around a corner, like this one. There we go. Um, well. Oh. Crap. <laughs> well. At least, okay. These are not all Aranea, but most of them actually are. Nice. Yeah, you guys are gonna stay dazed for two more turns. That's okay, I hope. Tantua could use some healing sometime soon. He could use a potion too, but... Oh. Yep, 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 okay. I deserve that. Never mind. Let's try this again. <clears throat> Let's pick this path instead. Arania Seer, okay. As if normal Arania weren't dangerous enough. Yep, okay, so there are traps on the floor everywhere. I mean, I guess I'll have to step on them at some point. Can you reach here? You cannot. I mean, you can, but not attack. Hmm. Shield chant. Uh, haste. Trying to daze us? Yep. Thankfully, I didn't aim it well. Revenant. The rune glows when you step on it. Long sticky strings of web fly out of the floor and cover you. This must be some sort of mechanism the Aranea used to speed up the process of mummifying their victims. Awesome. Okay, and that actually affected all of us, even though these guys are nowhere near. Huh. So we're both ensnared and 
Hasted. Yeah, right, because ensnared doesn't mean we can't move, just we can't move as much. Which is actually unfortunate. The good news is that Casca uh, is already pretty close by. Unlike you. Uh, I guess we try to shoot the, the seer. Oh, and try to shoot again. I should have just... I, I don't think I could have taken another step. That's fine. Mm, why don't you deal some damage? You can't. You can do this. Hm. Uh, I try to daze you all, I guess. The undead is probably immune. Uh, no. But it missed. Actually, them being ensnared is not going to help us a whole lot. Oh, God. That damage, though. Jesus. Thankfully, it's not too tough. Also, it stupidly moved toward one of my fighters. Oh, no. Okay, well, heal. Definitely. Um, fireball? Or maybe AoE damage is in order. Okay, that guy's immune. Oh, you can do it again? Okay. Almost dead. And she died from poison or acid? Yeah, poison. Nice. Attack, please. Thank you. Yeah, that one is going to pester us a little bit from back there, but that's fine. I hope each of these rune traps is only going to trigger once. Oh. Okay. Thanks for that crit. Oh, yeah, still can't move. And this lasts for a long time, huh? Ten turns in total. Thankfully, this spider is not really all that dangerous. Ah, but we can't. Oh. Hi, Warg. You look more like a. I mean, we've seen the same uh, enemy graphic in the later games, but this does not look wolf-like at all. It's me. I mean, it's it's more like a like a bull or something. Uh, you try to shoot this Arnia and miss, of course. single step and shoot the Ernia and even hit. Wow, proud of you. You can fireball from here, but not the Ernia. Not this guy. Good thing. Days. Yep. Uh, kill it. Yeah, can't reach. That's what I thought. I mean, you can do this, so... Maybe not worth... It's not even dead. Oh, it was a summon work? I guess. Didn't uh, pay attention to whether it gave us any experience or not. Let's wait. Okay, finally. Mm. You heal Casca to full. Arania Fang. Oh, okay. So these are actually items that are sometimes dropped by some Arania. Good to know. Terra Wand. Uh, I mean, sure. I guess you could have one of those as well. Uh, Silver Necklace. Unless they dropped a fang here. No. A single arena. here. Um. Oh, okay. These are not line of sight breaking. I guess indicated by the fact that I can actually look through them. You move 
as close as you can and do this. Okay. Please don't daze us. Although, I mean, daze is not that bad. That 10 turn snare, which must well, was much worse. For sure. Actually, I don't really want to use her spell points so much. Shoot it. Ah, oh, I should have fireballed. That's okay. Except we're all days now, probably. Kill it. There we go. No Ernia thing. Hmm. That's a bummer. Rope heal is always appreciated, though. Oh, there's another one. Actually, there are Bright and easy to see, that's good. Fire one, the cell. Uh, I guess Casca needs some healing again. I mean, it makes sense for our tank to take the most damage, so I'm not complaining. Better her than everyone else, I guess. Except when it's up to the point where she takes enough damage to die, so. Uh, needless to say, scaly imps. Okay. They're pretty big for imps, but the fact that they're only imps and not demons makes me a little bit hopeful. Uh, I guess we stop in preparation. Oh, you can leap. Cool. Kill this thing. Okay, sir. So they're not too tough. Throw a spear. Throw another spear. Fireball. And another one. Alright. Punch. And step. Okay. They're not so bad. Good to know. Uh, flawed crystal. Fine cloak. No buttons or anything. But there is a wand of the inferno. Oh, hello. Um... That's a ton of damage. Okay, keep that in mind. And in reserve for the time being. Got another Arrhenius Seer. They might have seen us already. Yep, sure did. But the Seer came out first. Unfortunately, this tunnel is too, too narrow for both of us to attack. Although, we can do this. In fact, it looks like I'll be able to finish this thing off quickly. Let's see if she can hit it. Nope. But a fireball should finish the job. There we go. That certainly helps. Unfortunately, we'll have to fight our way through this thing. Oh, can reach? No, you can. Oh, come on. Maybe I should be... I don't know if I can reach this area with fireballs from back there. Maybe I can. Nope. Hmm. But she's trying to ra take the long way around. Okay, that works. Cleave would also have worked if the worm wasn't immune. Come on. Hit, please. Uh, oh, it's your turn, right? Can you reach with a heal? You can, thankfully. Uh, fireball? Oh, damn it. This is quite the effective roadblock here. Especially since we're... Okay. Not able to kill that thing quickly, at least. Yeah, whatever. No, don't... Could have reached it. You could have reached it before. Ah. So pointless. Uh, you're still trying to take the long way. That's fine. Uh, except, never mind. No, it's dead. Jesus. Yeah, we have to get closer. There we go. 
Man, whoops. Wrong button. Then look for stuff. Some money. No or near thing. But a secret door. With money. A scroll of spell word. Here you go. Okay. There was nothing else back here though, right? It's kind of suspicious. Oh yeah, but we know, we already know that there's quite a bit more stuff this way. So why don't we wait for these guys over here? Definitely don't want to trigger that trap with any enemies around. That's just annoying. Are uh, you not coming? I guess not. Oh, but you dropped an Arania thing. That's 150 gold right there. Hmm. I mean, I kind of need to heal again. We know there are normal spiders up this way. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just take a step. Shoot it. Uh, fireball. Very good. Some herbs. A button. Don't think I didn't see it. Lots of crystals. Not as they may be. Even more crystals, actually. A battle crystal. Sure. Maybe you can fireball from here. Nope. Sure can't. Move away. Okay. Uh, we split up, I guess. Somehow. No thanks? Hmm. Bummer. Oh, except we find one just lying around here. I'll take it. Okay, that leads to the same chamber. And this leads around. To the south are a variety of bodies, each one cocooned in a thick shell of webs. It's a grim sight. I suppose so. Oh, yeah. Uh, Crooks here. I'll take it. Speed potion. You used one, even though it was wasted last time. Doesn't matter. Better to use a resource and end up not needing it than to not use it and end up needing it, right? Even though I don't usually follow that doctrine very closely. Oh, hello. There is a skeleton hidden at the end of this passage. It's very old and it's definitely not human. It's a tall, very thin humanoid with a huge skull. What's that supposed to be? You've never seen a creature like this before, and the bones are so old that they're practically crumbling to dust before your eyes. Very strange. I also see this cape lying there. Huh, and a razor disc. Oh no, it has charges. I mean, of course it would. Well, uh, this. How does this compare damage wise? It's not that much more damage. A disc with a razor edge. Made for throwing, it doesn't look like any human made blade you've ever seen. Huh. Okay, I mean, knowing myself, I'm never going to use this. Although, I, I guess I could. It's not that much better than normal throwing spears. In fact,. It's worse than steel javelins. Might be just about as good. Eh, just slightly better than iron javelins, actually. Strange cloak. A shimmering, translucent cloak made for someone very tall and thin. You've never seen fabric like this. It's not worth a whole lot, though. 
and doesn't give you anything but slightly better armor than a fine cloak. Hmm. Well, you still have a fine cloak. You take that. It matches the color of your character portrait. Hmm. So this is kind of a an Easter egg, I suppose? Or maybe there will be more lore pertaining to these, I don't know, aliens? <laughs> Some elder race of, well, tall, thin humanoids. Intriguing, to say the least. Uh, well, we know there were spiders in there, and we also know there's that stupid trap. So what if we do something like this? Hello. You've seen us, right? Maybe, actually, they don't see us if we don't end our turn in their field of vision. So if we do this, they will definitely become active, right? Yep, sure enough. So long as they don't pin her in place, though, we should be fine. There we go. And we're all dazed now, of course. Except you are not. And neither are you. Okay, shoot it. Wait. Seriously? There were more of you. Oh, hi. There we go. I mean, you, technically they should both have seen her. Although only one attacked. There we go. Okay, there are definitely more of them. And they're doing things. But they're also coming our way, so that's all good. Uh, how close are we to leveling up? Not very close. Gotcha. So, let's be a little bit conservative. to shoot it, he needs to get a bit closer. But so long as I don't trigger the trap, everything's fine. No! Okay, thankfully he couldn't walk fast enough, or far enough. Rather. Oops. Why don't we retreat? Yeah, he keeps dazing. It keeps dazing, whatever. Wait. I don't know, some... Sometimes Aranea seem to like to run up to us and attack in melee instead. Except maybe they're inherently different, even though they all look the same. Oh, there we go. I guess because it was a focus on attacking Casca. I didn't even care about Atanto standing there. Good for us. There we go, finally. Okay. I mean, now we can trigger this, no problem. Just wait. In fact, we can just move normally, which makes sense outside of combat. Another fang. Uh, another reason to heal her. And there isn't actually anything here. Well, fair enough. There's this place. Oh, we can apparently interact with that web somehow. Oh, we can loot it. Okay, group heal. Let's please. Back up to five. And a scroll of radiate ice, which I never use. This long cave is lined with webs. However, they seem to be intended for neither sleeping nor the catching of food. Instead, runes are finely woven into them. These webs must be Aranea books. Ooh. So we found the magical library, huh? That's interesting. Also, it's probably well guarded. There's another one of those rune traps. Ernia Watcher, okay. Uh, oh, we hit, but we hardly dealt any damage. That's a little troubling. Why don't you go around this way and miss completely? Well. Hmm, I mean, you could do some... Uh, actually, I don't want to knock them away at all. 
And this is not going to affect a tentacle, is it? Nope. Sure enough. But we should be able to do something like this from here. No. Uh, that's okay. Okay, only dazed him, that's fine. Taking some damage here. The Watcher actually also summons things. And I kind of have to deal with this work now. Yeah, you're dazed. Kill Casca. Um. Oh, that's another Watcher. Right. I mean, you can kill this area here, right? Like so. That's fine. She's not in a great spot here. She could heal Tiamak. If this thing attacks him again, he's in trouble. Okay. Take. Uh, actually, he should have probably moved and killed that Aranea just to get it out of the way. Okay, thanks for waking up Atantuo, I guess. Oh no, both dazed. Thanks for running up here. Kill it. Do it yourself. <clears throat> uh, yeah, deal damage to all of them. Especially killing off of the ward. Okay, I'm going to carefully walk around this way just so I don't accidentally trigger that trap because. I mean, it, honestly, it doesn't matter very much at this point. Still, I'd rather do without it. Just in case we have to chase after them. Um, deal damage. Deal more damage. Okay, teleported away and snared us. Wonderful. You summoned a Nefar. This guy's kind of trapped, though. Not really trapped, but... Well, if we could hit it, we might be able to actually deal some damage. Uh, in fact, that guy is kind of dying, slowly but surely. So you... Ah, nope. You go there. Fireball. Actually, maybe I should have hasted instead, just to make this go by a little bit more safely and quickly. Uh, you go there. <sighs> no, keep missing. Mm, you heal Tiamat. You haste, I guess. Better late than never. Okay. Thankfully, they're not dealing terrible, terribly much damage. They're just kind of hard to hit. Okay, there we go. Uh, you heal at all. You're hasted too, so attack. Get six damage in. Fireball. I was kind of hoping for another fireball opportunity, and we're dazed. Except you resisted. So you can finish this guy off. No, you can't! Dead. Okay, uh, you kind of have to. Well, Take a step there. Attack the Ooze Crawler. Um, shoot it? Ha! <laughs> there we go. Nice. Fireball? Oh, yeah, okay. Good. You're hasted, so you can hit that guy. This Nefar is annoying, but not a huge problem. You're still dazed. No, not anymore. Okay, next turn. Your time is coming. 
Kill it, I guess. Well, you kill it. Fireball. And you're finally dead. Jesus. Nice. Wow. Okay, that was two really good hits. Despite a ton of block there. Okay. Uh, not as much first aid as I was hoping. Okay, let's trigger this. Yep, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Oh, what? Never mind. We're not ensnared, but we got scaliums. Thankfully, we know that they are not so bad. Also, there's something else outside there. Maybe another scalium. Uh, shoot it. Nope. Fireball? They're not immune, right? Yeah. They're... Okay. Uh, well. Oh. Oh no, that's a cave demon. God damn it. Okay, also lots of scaliums. Okay, you go there. Attack that guy, you move away. Oh, you probably can't... Oh, never mind, you can retract. Heal. You help deal with these demons. In fact, another cast will kill them. Probably. She was slowed. Can't hit this guy. Right. You do it yourself. You take them out, hopefully. All but one. Oh. Of course, one of them barely survived. Oh, come on. Nope. We just can't hit this guy. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, please kill it. Nope. Nope. Kill it. Nope. It's, it's just not happening. Fireball? Fireball? I'm shaking my head in disbelief. You need some healing. Uh, you also need to hit the enemy. God damn it. Uh, fireball. There we go. Kill it? No. He just... She just can't. Nope. We will never win this fight. It will go on in indefinitely. I mean, actually, no. We are going to eventually die. You're probably into fire. No, you're not. Okay. You also don't have that many hit points. But it, that hardly helps me if I just can't hit you. To save... To literally save my life. There's also more to this cave, and we're really running extremely low on hit points, uh, on, on spell points here. Um, I forgot that she still had that thing equipped. Well, I guess Tiamak to the rescue once again. Nope. Uh, move away? No, I, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Thankfully, this thing does not deal a ton of damage, but wow, we just can't hit it. Okay, now we switch back to the actual weapon. Uh, fireball. Guess we're slowly killing it. Having 14 damage. Nope. Nope. Oh boy, what an exciting fight. There we go, finally a backstab. Resisted the poison just to make things last even longer. Critical. Come on, one hit. There we finally go. Jesus. <sighs> Platinum ring. One of death. Uh, lightning for two turns. Oh yeah, lightning is another kind of dot. Damage over time. Okay. Um, Magical missile, I think, means single target. For okay damage, I guess. Not great. Hmm. Was that worth it? Hardly. Especially since I was promised some kind of books. Wasn't I? I mean... I have no reason to expect to be able to read these weird web books. But I was kind of hoping to find some kind of spell knowledge here. 
Okay, well, that's... That's over. Hello. Two... No. Actually, two... Come on. One watcher and a mindless hive guard. And a hive master. Oh my god. I kind of feel like luring them out of there. So... Oh, he got his turn first. Why did she skip her turn? I didn't catch that. Ouch. Okay. That was getting a little bit dicey. You wait there, you wait there, you heal her, make her regenerate, that's also helpful. Uh, I guess you cast haste with almost the last of your spell points. You, I guess, charge forward and attack. Question is, are the rest of them coming? Yes, they are. I definitely feel better fighting them here, though, than in this big open room. Renia Watcher. Attack. Backstab. These are so tanky, though. Oh, we can attack again, right? Thanks to haste. Um, do we use our precious magic? Oh, I guess we use it for this. Shield chant, definitely worth it. Although most of the damage is going to be from magic, but oh well. We focus on one of them at a time. Okay, there's the rest of them. And they're moving away. And we're dazed. Uh, okay. No, no longer dazed. She... Oh, she's out of ranged weapons. Uh, why don't you use these? And we switch back to our ranged weapon. <laughs> of course we miss. I mean, obviously. Uh, well, this seems to be the foe at hand right now. I don't know, this might not be a fight we can win with our limited resources. Or at least not with without using a ton of other resources. This constant dazing is also killing me. Dude. I mean, it just feels bad to be constantly unable to do anything. Yep, yep, yep. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Where did I save? Did I save before this? I did, okay. Oh, well, after this room. I don't know, am I willing to... I could just enter, uh, exit and enter... Well, uh, enter some town and come back to refill my magic. It feels kind of cheap, but then again, I did clear most of this place in one go. And there's absolutely nothing stopping me from doing this. Except maybe the prospect of a couple of the spiders respawning. But I'm not even sure if that's a thing. Also, hi, that's. I'm definitely strong enough to take care of you guys. some recent equipment change that makes me unable to to hit anything. Grab stuff. Exit combat. Uh, let's see. I mean, I... No, not really. I gave him this armor, but I mean, that's been a while ago. I don't know. I guess it's really just mostly that particular kind of spider. Or those kind of high-level spiders that are hard to hit. Okay, let's go back here. Um, I mean, I suppose I could sell stuff, but I don't really need to. I really only want to refill my 
my spell supplies. Also, I think I can do... I can cast buffs in town. Even though it will not refill my... Uh, there we go. It will not refill my points. Afterwards. But at least I will leave the town fully buffed. So I can't forget later. Yeah, okay. Let's just stay active. And we accidentally entered the spider cave again. Just from walking past it. That's kind of funny, in a way. Okay. We're here. We're also at 55 minutes. Holy crap. Time flies playing this game. This is kind of ridiculous. Okay, no new spiders right now. I wonder if it wouldn't be okay to just charge in there. I mean, they're, we're pretty much going to fight them all at the same time anyway. Unless there is... No, there's not a trap. Aranea, Watcher, Watcher, Hive Master, Hive Guard. Well, they're faster than us. Yeah, at least some of them are. I mean, if nothing else... Ugh, we're immediately dazed. And of course I miss. That could have been a kill there. Taking at least that guy out of the equation. Which, which means one less constant uh, cast of days. Ouch. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, I mean, he's probably dead. Yep, he's dead. Okay, never mind. Did I save? Probably didn't. I saved here. I'm such an idiot. Why did I not wait? There must be an autosave. <laughs> Load save game. Autosave. Uh, yes? Question mark? Yes. Okay, that was silly. Okay, okay, we're, we're here. That's fine. Let's try that again. Save this time. And let's hope we don't all get dazed immediately. Nope. No such luck. And I guess higher like resistance to mental effects or whatever it's called would help against that. But the the single digit increases in resistance, like uh, percentage resistance to that that you find on equipment are not going to make a difference. Right? There's no way. Kill it. I mean, okay, she's dead again. No, no, no. We have to get a, an okay start without being completely disabled right from the get-go. And I think we will be able to, to kill these things. I mean, technically, we could we could try luring them out. We could enter combat and send a single character ahead. Hello. Of course, she's in there. But, so long as she doesn't get dazed. Uh, yep, never mind. We're screwed. I mean... Oh boy. Yeah, I mean... She could have used a curing brew, curing potion to un ensnare her, I think. Or actually, it might not even. No, it's just hostile effects. Even though you know, it doesn't make sense for for a potion to get rid of uh, I don't know a feet stuck in a web. But okay, let's not worry about that. Either way, it's not going to help her. She can drink a potion. I mean, we'll see if we can make this work somehow. Attack and miss. <sighs> you move up. Can't reach them, of course. If I use a scroll of speed burst from here, is that going to affect everyone? It could. Nope. Somehow these guys were not in line of sight. I mean, okay. Sure. Whatever. At least that affects everyone. 
Okay, we're all ensnared. Great. It doesn't matter that much. But we've also... Of course she stays. Of course we've also not dealt any kind of damage to any enemies. Uh, you are ensnared, right? So if you use this, you can still move here and from now on you will also always... Um, be dazed. Heal her. Uh, deal damage. I guess. Deal damage again. Okay. Obviously, getting rid of the works is nice, but the thing we really need to worry about are the actual spiders. Which at least we got some dam some damage in on this one, and of course, they they time it perfectly so that they daze us, wake us up, and daze us again. It's almost as if they are doing it on purpose. But I don't think they are. I mean, I guess they might might be programmed that way, so that... No, I don't know. Um, yeah, we need to kill you. I'd like to cure you too? Uh, actually, we can. Well, thanks to haste. Uh, yeah. Cure you? Not that it helps you now. In fact, it doesn't get rid of dazed at all. So much for that. Uh, please haste. Nope, no such luck. Well, some minor damage. Okay. And more days. Okay. That's not the button I meant to press. Rip. Well, miraculously, one of them is taking damage somehow. Oh, what? We actually get a turn? Miss. <laughs> uh, maybe you can at least kill the bat. Okay. Uh, heal her. This is not going to reach all of you guys. Nope, not at all. Well, in that case, why don't you... Just fireball instead. Actually, I should have tasted again. Mostly to hopefully get multiple spell casts off with these guys. The only party members that aren't constantly dazed. This is such a ridiculous fight. Uh, I guess you can use this opportunity to deal some damage. You haste. Using up your precious turn. missed with the days. What happened there? Uh, they can heal. Thankfully, not for a ton. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. That was a good crit. Okay. Hey, one of the spiders is dead. Oh, and they ended up killing her after, like, after what, 20 turns of not even getting close? Wow. You know what? Oh, this episode is getting long. I also have been recording for three hours now. I I think I need a break. <laughs> this is, I think we can do this. But it's not going to be easy. And, I mean, it's, it's going to be tedious for the most part. Because, yeah, I don't know. I, I could just... I could go ahead and make a level or two and maybe just resist their days more often and or act before they do. Any of those things could turn this battle around real quick. Or I could throw myself against this a couple more times and eventually probably win. But either way, I'm just going to call it an episode here. Um, we'll try... Maybe we'll try this again next time or we'll look for something else to do first. Anyway, uh, either way... I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.